What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another reaction and I have to apologize that I haven't uploaded recently. If you guys have been following us on our other channel, uh, Your New Zealand Family, and if you actually didn't even know that I had another channel, I'll leave the link down in the description and you can go and check it out and see what we've been doing. Uh, we've been shifting, we're going to be shifting out of the big city and shifting down to a small lake town in New Zealand. So, and we'll be vo vlogging the whole thing, the whole shift, and then we'll be starting our whole new adventure down there and, you know, doing everyday vlogs and adventures and, you know, all sorts of cool stuff, all sorts of family fun. But yeah, this time uh, on this channel, Kiwi Kicker, I know, I, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I know, it's painful. But uh, yeah, I'm back and I'm going to be checking out something that I actually haven't checked out before. And I thought that I'd just dive in why not football season is still a while off but yeah this time i'm going to be diving into some ufc and i'll be checking out john jones and this is the bones joseph vincent documentary and joseph vincent needs no introduction here what a legend if you guys haven't seen his channel uh, you know make sure you go and check it out and subscribe he makes absolutely awesome sports documentaries so this time i'm going to be checking out john jones who i think uh, who i've been told by some of you guys and some other videos and some other you know people that i've been talking to they, they they reckon that he's the greatest of all time or one of the greatest to ever do it so let's check it out it's a bit of a long one it's 34 minutes so i'll stop uh, rambling on and we'll check it out and see what we got with some john jones for me john jones is the reason i started watching ufc because he was larger than life he was so dominant he came up very low almost yeah. crawling at him you know, well, what's he doing he's gonna do that again yeah just for a second so wow what a powerful leg kick that was john bones jones bang that guy wolf right into that one again they battle in another big knee considered by many to be the greatest fighter to ever do it. He's got a choke, trying to choke him out. He's, He's in again here. Yoda's in trouble. Jesus. He's falling asleep there. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, man. That's horrible. Chokes the Yoda Machida completely unconscious. Oh, that's dangerous. He's the champ. To wrestle wholeheartedly. When his girlfriend got pregnant, John faced a difficult decision. Suddenly, I had a kid on the way, and uh, suddenly my post college guy was saying was not there anymore. He left oh, wow. college, walked into the Bomb Squad MMA gym, and began his journey into mixed martial arts. The very first day that he trained mixed martial arts, he, he did. Everybody in the gym was like, "This guy is." Working as a bouncer while trying to support a new family, Jones couldn't waste any time. Machine. Man, so he had a kid in college. Sheesh. Within weeks, he scheduled his first professional fight. I had been training for about two months. And uh, it's in my first fight. Well, Mark, we've got some light heavyweight action. The pro debuting John Jones fighting out of the bomb squad against some big boys tonight. Let's see what happens. So this is some amateur, well, oh, not amateur, he's a professional, but what league is this? He won in less than two minutes. Whoa! Jones a suplex! Osbix! He flipped him over, now he's Oh, man, that guy just landed on his neck. Wait, what? In that league, you can kick them while they're on the ground. Is that normal? Is that is that a normal thing? Because that dude was completely defenseless. Oh yeah, he destroyed him. And John has two brothers that are elite NFL athletes. Pro I mean, bro, he comes from fantastic genetics. What? I had no talent with the ball, you know, so they had me a defensive line next to Arthur, a guy who's big and fit to be a defensive line. I had no idea. Next to him, and that's how that made me bone. John oh, that's fought cool. his second fight just one week after his first. Oh, man. Oh, that's it. Oh, he's out. He's out. He rattled off win after win, fighting six times in 12 weeks. I made it to the UFC after only nine months in the Once every two weeks. 
which is really unheard of. Yeah. It was immediately clear. Obviously, didn't take Kenny much punishment. Bones was one of the most unique athletes to ever enter the fight game. So he's in the UFC now. Light heavyweight matchup, and here we go. At 21 years old, he made his UFC debut. Throws a spinning back kick. All right, somewhere in the middle of what I thought. He's good at the old takedown, eh? Mate. Oh, he faked it with that knee and bang. He's taken it to Kuzma. Switched and brought the left knee. Johnny Bones The victory brought a realization for John that he was able to compete at the highest levels in MMA. And there's this other guy, John Jones. Seven and out. Oh, he's Still a undefeated. Wrestler, but he's really skinny, he's young, he's green. And I'm like, oh man, I'll, I'll fight that skinny bitch, John Jones. <laughs> I was gonna say, his legs do look a little skinny, but if they're conditioned John's to like kick. Experience is obvious in his yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, he was a wrestler in college. And theatrical. Wrestling, Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai, athletic, young suplex. Boom. Oh, man. But it is Jones striking that captured the attention of fans everywhere. Whoa, wow. The spinning elbow, that was decent. That, that first round, sitting on my stool, I'm like... Oh, he cracked his ego. open. good, man. He displays remarkable creativity in the cage. Boom. The Apollo right in the throat. Oh, that stood him up. This journey that I'm on can go as far as I take it, and uh, only I can mess it up. In his tenth pro fight, John Jones' first hint of controversy surfaced. Only 22. He demolished Matt Hamill. However, a series of illegal elbows earned him a DQ. Oh, really? His timing is so good. Now, is there a part of you that feels like you never lost, even though you had the one disqualification well, loss? John is completely undefeated. Yeah. He only has that one loss to Oh, Matt you can't Hamill's elbow while the guy's on his back? In a fight where he was totally dominant. Big elbows, no. Can't do 12 to 6. The up to down elbow from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock is illegal. So you make an honest oh, wow. mistake if they're on an illegal elbow and, and have it be take crashing during the day. Due to intentional elbows, there's been a disqualification of Johnny Bones Jones. Therefore, the winner is Matt. Yeah, but come on. And, uh, we all know who won the act, who actually won the fight. Up about it. You know, now I know the rules, and you would never see me going out that way ever again. Yeah, if he didn't know the rules, he didn't know the rules. Not intentional, I guess. And I trained in Albuquerque, New Mexico at high elevation. I trained at 6,000 feet above sea level. Looks like he's got a, a bit of Muay Thai background as well. It's not often that guys like this come along. You know, not at all. John Jones is not a lot of that. He's just got super athlete family. Just, and he's huge. That's just a size difference. Yeah, man, his upper body's huge. Back from the loss, Jones made a statement. Wrestling. Bang. Got him. I love John Ball Jones, man. He's the best I've ever seen. Oh man, he is going to town on him. Oh, he's got a point to prove here. Vicious, man. He is serious talent. Um, and it, even just that when he just stood up again, he's huge. I mean, he's so big. He's a young guy. He's, he's only going to get better, and he's very motivated, and very smart. The Ultimate Fighter Season Eight winner, Ryan. How old is this? Is he still fighting? 
who will truly become the next big thing. Will it be Vader or will it be Jones? Next up, uh, the fight of the up and coming. Who would contend for the title against Shogun? Oh. Constant offensive assault. Wow, man. Catching fighters off guard with moves no one else was willing to try. What the heck? About eight to four inch reach off on his arms is he can get his fingers together when most people can't. Yeah, he went right for a straight guillotine here. Got him. That's a tap out. John Jones' first fight in the UFC at, for a title, he's fighting Mauricio Shogun Hua, who is a legend. Yeah, I'm fighting the biggest fight of my life. If I wasn't meant to be here, I wouldn't be here. Mate, these are the moments that you made for. Man, he's tall, six foot four. Oh man, that's a fight. That takedown skill, man, that's just, was a legend of UFC. Just insane. He doesn't care who he's facing either. Oh, destruction! Johnny Bones brutalized the defending champion. Wow. Bang, man. He just gets them when they're off balance. Doesn't give them a chance to block or anything. Creative combinations, athletic spinning elbows, and kicks. Whoa. Fighting Johnny Bones is a nightmare. Stuff like that is so creative there. Relentless. Oh my goodness, man. He turns their attacks into his own attacks. The title win made Jones the youngest champion oh. in UFC history. Bang! Wow, man. What a meteoric rise. Such a young age. And it wasn't even a struggle. And it wasn't even a struggle. Man, that's just how you know he's different. Everyone considers like a legend and the defending champ. And it's just light work for him. getting bigger. Bigger and stronger and faster. He's a freak man. He's a real freak. He, he most definitely is. It's crazy to watch him train because he just super lasered in and focused. title defense, he took on another legend of the octagon, Rampage Jackson, Bro, this dude one looks of the most brutal. intimidating fighters ever. Mate, he almost looks like the Mike Tyson of UFC. Uh, here's this crawling he's the stuff. Ever controlling distance. He does the finger at the finger range. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, pokey. <laughs> the pokey range. Woo! Straight on the top. Rampage had never been stopped in his historic career. What? So he'd always gone the distance. Or stopped the other guy. He's no joke. Wow. You know, chokes out Rampage. Chokes out. He just smashed everybody. Smashes them. He's got him. Oh, and he's bleeding too. Dominated. A 
against Rashad Evans, Jones was pitted against one of his longtime friends and training partners. Twenty-two, one and one record. Five foot eleven, man. That's some height difference. I don't see like a weakness, eh? Head kick by Rashad. Ooh. Big head kick by Rashad Evans. Might be in trouble. I felt like this was a pioneering performance with arranged elbows from Jump Jones. Oh, oh the elbows and knees, man. That Muay Thai style. Bang. Oh, that's like a, I've never seen that before. There's like an elbow jab. Jones used his elbows to devastating effect. But Rashad Evans, there was no way he could have trained for this kind of thing. Ah. No way. Is that why he's called Bones? Is it because he uses his elbows and knees a lot? He uses his bones. I mean, Rashad Evans and Jimmy's going to be fighting like John Jones in this range, stepping in with elbows. Over Devastating the top. elbows, man! That flying elbow, dude. Bang! Got him with a. Oh, this guy's just flapping around. He doesn't know what's coming at him. Wow. Twenty-one and nine, six foot. Belfort got hold of Jones' arm, hyperextending it in a perfect armbar. You know, Vitor almost snapped that arm in half. That was crazy. Oh, armbar! He's got it. He has got it right here. Vitor Belfort. Jones allowed his arm to pop out of socket. You what an animal John is. Yeah, oh. didn't tap. He just let his arm get. Jack. And he's still going. And he might have popped his arm. We don't know how, how John's arm is right now. And then wound up tapping Vitor the next round. Dude. It's amazing when you consider the fact that this kid didn't grow up with a striking background. It's crazy. Yeah. He's, he's not just talented. Side kick to the body. He heard him. He heard him. He heard him. He heard him with that side kick to the body. And now the axe kick the same way. Now it's good for Belfort. This guy's trying to get him in the mounted crucifix. He just needs to secure the right arm. Oh, there we go. Mitted Belfort. Oh, he wants revenge on that arm. Oh, man. Arm for an arm. That's what you get. That's killer instinct, man. Wow. Jail Sonnen. And here we go. He's so comfortable in world championship fights. He's had nothing but world championship fights. That's all he knows? Yeah. Oh, man, the takedown ability. Amazing. Main event, and you're like, holy shit, this is the big one. John's like, this is a fight. Another day. Brutal, man. So technical. Pitbull mode. Oh man, straight savage. And they get to this point where you're, you have to be so much better to beat them. Fame and celebrity are powerful drugs. I had this crazy thing that I would do where I would party one week before everybody. And I did it throughout my whole career. I whole week. But when he was partying, I would see him at the bar in Ithaca. Oh. And it would be like a couple weeks before his fight. This guy would be out there shots. And I was winning and it, and it was starting to feel... Effortless. As Bones rose to the highest levels of his sport, his focus waned. We saw that in the Gustafson fight. He wasn't in shape for that fight at all. Yeah. He, they said he was barely training. He did a lot of wild stuff leading up to the fight. I definitely didn't give him my own. Yeah, he see. Partying he and thought that. he was invincible. Right. Really partying, Drinking, yeah. Drinking, Interesting to see where it goes from here. You asked me earlier, Joe. Is there a fall from Grace? And yes, that man, John Jones, the champion. All 16 of his opponents take down attack. In what turned out to be the fight of the year, Jones took on Swedish fighter Alexander Gustafsson. Taken down. Oh, the take down. Take down the the right back up. Oh, and there's a nasty elbow by John. Ooh, bang in the neck. Side of the head. Yeah. Right the end of the Straight in the neck. Bang! Woo! Oh, got cracked. 
the fight continued to go back and forth. Just past the midway point of this championship fight. Oh, body shot, that hurt. The spinning elbows, man. Unlike anything I've ever seen. Lightning fast. Ooh, good fight, though. Swedish dude came to fight. Oh, lowered the head into the kick. Signature move. And he was just sitting there, waiting for it. Oh. He's just a natural born fighter. He just knows how to fight. Elbows and knees. I've never seen anything like this, man. This is insane. Jones won the unanimous decision. Woo. Yeah, what a fight, man. That guy had a granite chin. A unanimous decision. And Must be tough putting into the judges' hands. Must be a nervous wait for the decision. A super fight against undefeated Daniel Cormier was set. That these people cheer for me and they don't even like me. They just hate John The Jones. bad blood between the two fighters burst over in a pre-fight presser. Any chance, though, one week from today, that you guys end up earning each other. Oh, we put hands on him. In the octagon and can squash this between you, John. I asked you that. Oh wow. <laughs> there goes the whole stage. I have no desire to be friends with <laughs> Austin Jones. Fifty thousand dollars in fines fall. I, I dislike him because he hates me. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we fought two years ago. Sure, I beat him mm -hmm. fair and square. You know, thirty-five no mate. Eight year age difference. Looks a lot shorter too. <laughs> <laughs> I always love those announcers. I, I would just, I didn't know if he had that it factor. You know, when, you, when you have an undefeated athlete, you don't know. Hype man. You know, if there's that chosen one. You know, and I, mm -hmm. I thought maybe he could be the guy. I've always felt like I was the guy. That was sharp. Despite the emotions of the fight. Wow, man. Jones handled his business. And um, now that I've been him and I've proven that he isn't the chosen one. Woo! Overhand right. Oh. I feel like there's really nothing special about him. Like, John Jones is playing for keeps. He's trying to damage these people. He's, he's taking pink slips. He's taking the cards. Defeating DC on a unanimous decision. Bone collector. His ultimate match. He leaves his mark. He leaves his mark on you. <laughs> Got a chip on his shoulder. After the fight, Jones tested positive for cocaine metabolites. Then light heavyweight champion John Bones Jones was preparing for another title defense when he crashed into a car in southeast Albuquerque. Yeah, that was a car accident right here on Wentzboro and Southern Boulevard. A guy, the guy just hopped off into a yard. The guy that's getting out of the SUV... A few months later... He was involved in a hit and run. Former UFC light heavyweight champion John Whoa. Bones Jones avoids jail time. The Albuquerque fighter cut a deal with prosecutors today for a hit and run crash. It was humiliating and I was not expecting this for me and, and I'm ready to, to step in the high gear. He was stripped of his title. The judge Ooh. allowing Jones to travel out of state for work and promotional appearances, but the UFC has not decided when he will be allowed to fight again. A true case of no one being able to defeat him Man. other than himself. Yeah. After being stripped of his lightweight title and suspended for a year. Oh, mate. John Jones. Long time for a fighter. <laughs> John Jones. Stoked to be back. Man, I was not expecting it to take this turn. Fight schedule for five. When you're the most gifted Whoa. athlete ever to fight. Those kicks, man. Spectacular spinning elbows, face kicks, jaws their legs, knees are routine. Get 
Yep. Bang. Bang. Dominating him. Oh, nice. Backhanded elbow. Head. Oh, man. Could have been a knockout there. Oh, nice. The fight secured him the interim title and lined up a rematch with DC. Unfortunately, Whoa. he tested positive again. Oh. Jones has been suspended for one year after testing positive for a banned substance. I want to first uh, start by apologizing to what a let to, down. Um, all the fans. All the fans who came out to support Why would you do that to yourself? Albuquerque Police lapel video shows an officer pull Jones over last week, slapping him with five citations, including for drag racing and exhibition driving. Driver's license, registration, insurance, please turn your car off. UFC fighter John Bones Jones is expected in court. Man, can't get out of his own way. Since APD stopped him Why? for drag racing. Why are you doing that? You are held to higher standards. And Mr. Jones has started to fail that probation. It has been a challenge for him. He's been given this is his third chance. So it seems like a, a, a storm of stuff is coming his way. His career could be in grave, grave danger. Jones jumping. has been on probation for about six months. He would serve another year long oh, suspension. Oh, man. During his absence, John had to watch DC, his chief rival claim the belt right now he he attacks like uh some of your downfalls right yeah yes and he, he public downfalls. it's and like yeah, they, they, they are public no one took anything away from him you know he took everything away from himself this up again by that's what's even more disappointing steroids or stored cocaine or sandblasted prostitutes i messed up outside of the octagon i got that taken away from me but the guy's never beating me. In order to be the champion, you have to beat the champion. What he hates the most is the fact that he'll never be remembered because... Uh, Ooh, because setting up a big comeback fight. If John Jones did this, man. Daniel Cormier would be getting the on heavyweight bit. champion and he would be undefeated. The wait is over. John Jones is back for the first time since April of 2016. After a year off, Jones entered the cage with his sights set on ending the rivalry. Ooh. Once and for all. I oh. don't want to finish him by uh, submission or TKO. That's a shin straight to the mouth. He's eating bones, man. Who was the best of the best? Boom. He's gone. Dominated, man. Wait, was that round one? So still never been beaten at to this point in the room, apart from the uh, the DQ. He was back on top of the world. Man, could have been even higher. But again, Jones' test samples came back positive for a banned substance. You've got to be Jones was kidding me! His title and suspended. I wonder how. What much is this fool doing? How many times does he need to try and throw his career down the toilet? What the heck is going on? I don't... What? How can you not learn your lesson after three times? Am I missing something here? Are they going to explain something? I don't know if they're going to explain something here of maybe why he did it or... Was it unintentional? Or is there some is there some story to it? Because this just seems crazy. Who, who, why would any anyone do that to their career? He's left on the table with Frustrating, man. Problems, especially with the attention that Connor's brought to the sport. To be accused of steroids, um, people, you go from Man, that's frustrating. Immediately in some people's eyes. Do you think that Jones should be banned now after his second 
failed test for a band sub. This time, he missed 16 months. And even though you said has proven uh, that that there's a reason for those picograms, the picograms gives you zero athletic performance. You don't ever, you never looked like you. a guy who was on steroids. I believe him. It was accidental. I won't consult the bones. <laughs> the bones tell me nothing. He'd missed 16 months before returning for a match with the Swedish brawler. Haven't I already been to the top of the mountain and, and faced the dragon? And here's the thing, that dragon in rematches gets way better. Yeah. He f dudes up in rematches. Mm -hmm. One man, man. Will soon be the okay, I see why. Now why people don't say he's the greatest of all time. Jones defended a record eight times. Because of the tarnish on his career. No matter what he does from here on out, there's just a big asterisk next to his name. Jones shook off any rust and devastated the Swede. You just watch Gustafsson. You get the feeling that every time he goes to start something, John Jones intercepts it. Alex just got to get in that boxing range. That's, the big difference in this fight has really been the leg kicks. I would imagine this is how Jones would spar with someone that he feels like he can beat comfortably. He took him to the ground and beat him mercilessly. <laughs> Bang. He's on a run right now. That's what the I, back of the head there. I took it away from him for all those months. Don't see those ones coming. Positives. Go on. Go on now. So he was light heavyweight, was he? Did he ever shift divisions? money that he should have made, all the legacy that he could have laid down. Exactly. Like I said in a pre-fight interview, there's only been one champion since 2011. I'm glad to be a back on my throne. Jones had taken back his title after a 16-month layoff. Well, you've got so much talent, man. What's what's all that drugs going to do to you? Like, what's, how's it going to make you better? Johnny What's the point? Barnes wasted no time in reasserting his dominance over the division. Bang, man, so accurate. Very nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, so like, unbelievable accuracy. Yeah, that got Smith's attention seen in his eyes. On a moving target, too. On a mission to remind the world who the best fighter on the planet truly is. Bang. <laughs> that guy's smiling. He just throws them around like they're flipping little boys. It's crazy. Boys against men. Manhandles them. John Jones remains light heavyweight champion after easily defeating Anthony Smith. Santos opened with a series of devastating leg kicks. Now the cat kick, chopping at that leg. Those are devastating. Early in the first round, where he kicked his leg out, I was like, alright, this fight's gonna be interesting. The attacks kept Jones off balance for the first round. Whoa, that was a cool camera view. That was like some Matrix the stuff there. Round. Jones timed the incoming strike and pulled his leg back. Did he break his toe? The awkward miss caused Santos to tweak his knee. Santos, maybe a one-legged fighter here. Oh, nice kick. Woo! Jones pounced. Yep. Target that knee. Man, he got up quick. Oh, the flying knee. So John Jones and Tiago Santos go to this next Back on top. Man, I swear if he throws this away again. Reyes is he's a hell of an opponent. You know, he's undefeated, truly athletic. He's Knocked out almost everyone who's gone against.
<laughs> Man, that guy's voice, eh? he must lose it like every time he does this. Total domination. Woo! Controversy and self destruction. Reigning atop his division like no other fighter in history. Jones knows he starts to get ugly here. He's putting the pressure. John Bones Jones. Still hasn't been beaten. After defending his title against Dominic Reyes. John Bones Jones has committed to moving up to heavyweight. Oh. Chasing a challenge worthy of his attention. So he is shifting up to a division, up to heavyweight. Yeah, I mean, he's the best of all time. By far, by but far the best. If he's not the greatest of all time, he's in a conversation. Nobody brings it home like it should. Nobody. Man, oh man. That took a lot of unexpected turns. That was crazy. I know it was a long one, so if you're still here to the end, I really appreciate you guys. And uh, make sure you smash the like button if you enjoyed that one. And man, that was crazy. I mean, it was quite obvious that the way that he dominated that, like every single person that he fought, you know, bar a couple that gave him a good fight. But man, oh man, how can you, how many times can you try and throw away your own career? I guess, yeah, like that just also highlights his greatness as well. Because every time he came back, even after a year or a year and a half off, he still just kept dominating. So what, a, I mean, what a fighter. An amazing fighter, but it just seems like he had a few issues off, uh, you know, off or out of the ring. So yeah, but that was cool, man. That was my first first reaction to a UFC star, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know who else I should check out. Like I said, remember, I've only ever watched like two UFC fights in my life, so let me know. I'm sure there's plenty of other guys out there you want me to check out, so yeah, let me know down in the comments, and I'll take a look at them. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you on the next one. See you later. Bye.